Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show you how to use our clone to back up to Google Drive on Linux. First, update your system. In this example, we will perform on Ubuntu. Next, run the following command to install our clone. Connections to remote cloud services are called remotes in the rclone world. We need to create one for Google Drive. Start the rclone configuration process with the following command. Our clone tells us there are no remotes configured. Press N and enter to create a new remote. It will prompt you for a name. We're going to call it G Drive. Use whatever name you like. A long menu allows you to choose the type of storage you're creating a remote connection to. Scroll through the list until you see the entry for Google Drive, and note its number. We can see that in this instance, it is number 13. Enter this as the storage type and press enter. Next, you're prompted for a Google application client ID. Press enter to accept the default. Then, you're prompted for a Google application client secret. Again, just press enter. You're asked to provide the scope that our clone will have when it is operating on your Google Drive. Press 1 and then press enter. At the service account credentials prompt, press enter. At the edit advanced config prompt, just press N. At the use auto config menu, press Y and then press enter. This causes our clone to communicate to your Google Drive, and to launch your browser to allow you to permit our clone to interact with your Google Drive. On your browser window, click on the Google account you wish to use. Click the continue button to allow our clone to have access to your Google Drive. When authenticate is completed, you'll see a success message in the browser window. You can close the browser and return to the terminal window. At the configure this as a team drive prompt, type N and then press enter. At the yes, edit, delete menu, type Y and then press enter. At the final menu, type Q and press enter. That's it, you can now test with the directory listing command in the remote connection. Now, to access the contents of Google Drive from your file manager, you need to mount it first. Create a mount point to mount your Google Drive. We are going to create a new mount point named G Drive. Next, mount the Google Drive using our clone as the following. Here, G Drive is the remote name, and G Drive is the mount point name. You can replace them with your values. Click on it to access the contents of your Google Drive. Check it out on your Google Drive and see what happened in our cloud storage. From now on, you can create, copy, move, rename, and delete files or folders the way you do in your local file manager. Anything you put in the local mount folder will be uploaded to your Google Drive. 